So I have a wildlife rescue right here of an eastern milk snake caught in a mouse trap right here. So I'm gonna try to get it off as gentle as possible without hurting its vertebrae. The good thing is it can move its backside, so that means the backbone is not broken, but it could be small rib cages that are broken and internal organs. So I wanna make sure I don't rupture anything. The trap is away from his heart, so that would have automatically killed him. But let's see what I can do in getting this trap off. He's really trying to bite the container. I don't have a snake tube. I wish I had one on me, but that's fine if he's distracted trying to eat the container and get away. But it looks like there's teeth in the trap. Ooh, okay, this is easy. Really easy. And there he goes. Perfect. So that was easier than expected. I thought the teeth on the trap were gonna puncture its skin, but there is bulging right here. I'm trying to be gentle. There's possibly broken rib cages. I can't tell until I get an x-ray and see. Uh, no water and food until any inflammation or swelling goes down because it's right near where his stomach will start when the animal eats. So a snake does have a vertebrae and a neck. So the neck pretty much, ooh, sorry buddy. He's still trying to get in the trap. Let's move this out of the way. So the neck pretty much goes from where the head starts to about here where the heart starts. Once the heart st starts in the where the organ is, then pretty much everything past the heart is gonna be the vertebrae and then the vents should be right here where he's starting to musk on my gloves. And then after the vent or the cloaca starts the tail. So he's gonna stay with me for several days until I can just see how his health is and then try to get him on a slow amount of food and then fluids. And then if I notice his health is deteriorating, then we have to do some other measures and bring him to the vet and see what's going on with his vertebrae. But he's moving, so that's good that the backbone is not broken. But with the swelling, I'm pretty sure the trap broke some of his rib cages, which will just slowly heal over time. And, oh, he got me. Okay. So that's part of the show. He's chewing on me. He just let me know that to let go of him. But... That's fine, they're like little teeth. So I'm gonna put him in the tank and just watch him and see how his behavior does. So right now I just got him getting wet and a little bit of bentadine with water. So it's just three parts water, one part bentadine, just to clean him off. I don't know how long he was on the trap and pretty much why he was caught in it because it's the time of the year when they're hungry they're trying to get the last minute calories the temperature has dropped in upstate new york so a lot of reptiles are trying to get the last bit of food they can before they go into hibernation and then sadly he was probably hunting for small mice and got caught in this trap but lucky enough it wasn't a sticky trap didn't rip up any skin and scales and the trap didn't pretty much cut him in half getting caught in it so that was pretty lucky uh, for him but we'll see internally any damage going on with him